They're multimillionaires. And yet they drive a 2003, 2003 Honda Odyssey. Let's take a look at what a 2003 Honda Odyssey looks like, shall we? Go to DuckDuckGo because we want our data not to be manipulated. So we look at 2003 Honda Odyssey for sale with photos from Carfax. Carfax. Look at that. Price forty three hundred bucks. That's uh, the Carfax value is about six thousand dollars. There we go. Two thousand three hundred. Let's see, five thousand dollars. All right. Look at that. So let's take a look at. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look at this guy. So two thousand three hundred Odyssey. They're multimillionaires, my friends. That's in North Texas, right there. Got over two hundred seventy thousand miles on it. This guy told me. So we got this one right here has 150,000 miles on it. Six cylinder, good old fashioned gasoline. There's a VIN. Uh, there's no notice. They do have heated seats. Pretty cool. This one's got heated seats. Leather seats too. Whoa, living large. Um, the point being, of course, is that this is the number one thing when it comes to retirement. I, I used to say the number one thing when it came to retirement is whether or not you have uh, a pension and any debt. <clears throat> it's not. The, the driving in older vehicles is the number one thing. I'm just telling you, man, it's the same flipping story. People who live in this. So basically, these guys move from the East Coast, from the West Coast, to the East Coast, and back in the same car. Could they afford a newer car? Sure. Sure, they could. They got no debt. Why? Why would they do that? They're, I mean, we're, finding, we're budgeting in their financial plan a couple new cars. They put two kids through college. They, uh, just, that's just the same. They've invested religiously, just save, save, save. They haven't been without. They just, it's the same old story. I just wish people understand this, man. You can see just what it, what's in your driveway. That will determine whether or not you can retire. It's just the same. Not, look, the friend was says, no, it's not. I, look, I get it. There's always an exception to the rule. I'm being very broad based there saying at the end of the day, if you're driving a 2003 Honda Odyssey with 270,000 miles, most likely you're going to be able to retire because you're not living large through your car. You're not living large, <clears throat> generally speaking, with uh, with all kinds of fancy schmancy stuff. There's nothing wrong with fancy schmancy stuff. Nothing. I'm just saying at the end of the day, when it comes to people who have no debt and are driving 2003 Honda Odysseys, I know they're going to be prepared to retire more so than people with debt driving brand new cars it doesn't mean either side it doesn't mean if you have a 2003 hunt Aussie you're you you uh can retire and it doesn't mean if you're driving a brand spanking new fancy schmancy rock and roll car you can't I'm just saying at the end of the day it's the same story drive old retire early it's just that simple all right love to hear your thoughts